hello um today i'm going to be doing my july tbr but first i have two things that i would like to say number one thank you to everyone who has subscribed i got a shout out from obsessed reader and it got me absolutely loads i thought it'd get me like two and it got me loads and i had like in the 70s on my second day of having that channel and now i have 89 and it's stuck on 89 so yeah please subscribe by the way, please subscribe. And the second thing that I would like to say is I've got a free book on Audible, but I don't know what to get. Because I'm very fussy when it comes to audiobooks, because I don't want one that's read out by an American, and I don't want one that's in a series, because if I enjoy it, then I'll want the rest of them all in the flesh. And then it'll just look weird if I have all of the books except the first one. People will think I'm going mad. I'm not going mad, guys. So, on with the to be read, read, that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, the first one, which arrived in the post today, was really exciting for me. It's City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. I'm just about finished City of Bones. It's taken me about a month, and I'm trying to speed up my reading this, because I used to be able to read a Harry Potter book in a day, which is kind of impressive. So, this is... And it's in perfect condition, look. It's all perfect. Um, but what really annoys me is they ruined this beautiful colour with an advertisement for the film. Why do they have to make it so big? Um, and the next is, I bought it about a year ago and never got the chance to read it. it there was an extract of it in my Year 6 Sats paper and it is at The Sign of the Sugar Plum by Mary Hooper. Um, it's set in London at the time of the plague and it's about this girl, I think she's called Hannah, who um, is going to London to help her sister Sarah in um, this shop but um, but it's the play because just hit London and it's just well, yeah that's all I know um, and the final book see I'm ending three is Sherlock Holmes a study in Scarlet um, and I really like Sherlock Holmes I've only watched the BBC TV show which is modernised and quite a lot different but I know a lot of the um, episodes are based on real books so there's The Hounds of Baskerville is a real one and A Study in Pink is obviously based on A Study in Scarlet and so I'm just going to read you the blurb There's the scarlet thread of murder running through the colourless skein of life and our duty is to unravel it and isolate it and expose every inch of it Watson mused over Holmes' words He had met the amateur sleuth for the first time only a short while before and already Sherlock Holmes had astonished him with his amazing powers of detection, and he was to continue to do throughout their long life together. In this, their first adventure, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson uncover a thrilling story of murder, love and revenge, which begins before, in, which begins years before in Salt Lake City. And this is my mum's, and she's just like, going through her book a bit earlier and she said oh do you want to read this and I was like yeah I do want to read this so that's all I have to say thank you for subscribing and if you haven't already subscribed then subscribe like comment um especially suggestions for videos and book recommendations always welcome and au revoir